singing one last time. Yeah, the sound of it all It's you that I see It's you that I see Only you, Lord Only you, Lord Only you are the center of my life I know that I'm free to worship you. Somebody shout free. I'm free. Say I'm free. Oh, yes you are. Yes you are. Oh, yes. Come on, dance. Free to dance and sing. Free to lift my hands and worship. Lord, I say, Lord, I'm free. Free to dance and sing, free to lift my hands and worship. Lord, I'm free. I said, Lord, I'm free. I'm free to dance. Wave to the Lord. 
right now. Say, everybody, yo. Oh. The sun sets free, it's free indeed. Whom the sun sets free, it's free indeed. Whom the sun sets free, it's free indeed. Yet now, whom the sun sets free, it's free indeed. Whom the sun sets free, it's free indeed. Whom the sun sets free, it's free indeed. Yet now, I am free. Praise the Lord. I no longer back No chains holding me My soul is resting It's just a blessing Come on, help me quiet Praise the Lord Hallelujah I'm free Somebody shout I'm free Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we happy to be in the house of God? You guys look so beautiful this morning. Hallelujah. This morning we're here to say in Jesus' name. Come on. on our side he has overcome he has overcome we will not be shaken we will not be moved Jesus you are he He has overcome. We will not be shaken. We will not be moved. Jesus, you are here. Carrying our burdens. Covering. He has overcome. He has overcome. We will not be shaken. We will not be moved. Jesus, you are We will not be Jesus, you are here Carrying in our burden Covering He has overcome He has overcome We will not be shaken We will not be moved Jesus, you are here
elaboração. Oh, Jesus. Woo! My God, my God. Woo! Yes, Lord. Let me see the soldiers in the house. Soldiers, we are soldiers in the army. We have to fight or we have to die. We got to hold up the blood stained battle. We got to hold it up until we die. One more time. We are soldiers in the army. We have to fight or we have to die. We got to hold up the blood stained battle. We got to hold it up until we die. We're going up together. Going up together. We're going up to conquer in the name of the Lord. I said we are going up. We're going up together. We're going up to conquer in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. I said.
When we're having a conversation, please don't talk. No, no. Don't talk defeat to me. Why? We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Amen. I'm happy to see that we brought our joy. We brought our praise. Amen. So this week, when I went into my prayer clothes that I kept hearing, you must worship. Amen. Because worship is also a weapon. Sometimes we even take those lists and we're like, Lord, we thank you even before it happens. Amen. Can we lift our hands in the presence of the Lord? Father, we are grateful, O oh Lord, that we have come into your presence. Thank you, Jesus. And we have brought our praises with us and our worship. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart I will enter His court with praise I will say this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice for He has made me glad If that's your testimony, sing it with me I will enter your gates with thanksgiving in my heart. Lord, I will enter your courts with it praise. I will say this is the day that you has made me glad he keeps blessing me oh he has made me glad he woke me up this morning he has made me glad i will rejoice for he has made he has made me glad As a 
Welcome to celebration service. Now, family, it's called a celebration service. I think we shook the table there. Amen. Can I see your signs of victory? There's a reason why the devil tried to intercept. Amen. Now, I say this is a celebration service. There's a reason why it's called a celebration service. It does not matter what you're seeing right now in your life. You have every reason to celebrate God. Amen. My goodness, it really doesn't matter what the circumstances are around you. Nonetheless, we shall celebrate God because circumstances around us don't change who he is. Circumstances around us do not dictate who God is. My goodness, it is an honor and a privilege to serve that kind of God, my brother. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. And we shall praise God whether he wants or not. We shall praise God as we stand on this altar. Sound or not, we shall praise God. Hallelujah. Beloved, we welcome you to the celebration service. And in case you are wondering where you are, in case you are wondering why are we so loud here, this is Hallelujah Ministries International, a house where the Bible comes alive, a house of miracles, a house of solutions. And we are sons and daughters of none other than Apostle of Lukau. If that is your spiritual father that I just mentioned now, put your hands together for him. Let us celebrate his life. My goodness. That sounds like you are celebrating my brother and I. I just spoke about Apostle Alf Lukau. Beloved, do you know why we honor men and women of God? It's got nothing to do with them as such. We honor them for the sacrifice of the spiritual investment. We honor them for the blood, sweat, and tears. We honor them for the staying power. We honor them for the fact that they, since they said 
Yes, we shall serve God. They've never looked back. Winds may come, storms may come, but they remain standing. That is why we celebrate them. This has got nothing to do with human worship. We celebrate the anointing upon their lives. If you are celebrating the anointing upon Outlooker's life, my goodness. My uh, yes, Pastor BC. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> now besides the man of God is the anointed Bishop Celeste. Now with the same revelation that my pastor here gave out, let's just honor the anointing upon her life. Let's reverence the anointing upon her. Mommy, we love you. We adore you. You are beautiful. You are radiant. And nothing in this world can dim the light upon your life. And for that, mommy, we thank you. We celebrate you. We, your children, are proud to be called your own. And I just want to say, we rely on you, mommy. We love you. <laughs> Beloved, you may take your seats. As you take your seats, I invite you never, ever, ever to get tired of celebrating your man and woman of God. Because we have no idea what they go through. All we know is that we are standing and part of our standing has got to do with the fact that they are permanently on their knees. Beloved, we extend a very warm welcome on behalf of our parents. Whether you are on site or you are joining us online, we have various social media platforms online. It may be YouTube that you are watching us from. It may be Facebook. It may be Instagram. It may be Twitter. You may even be joining us from AMI TV, which is our very own 24-7 television station. It really, really doesn't matter. In the spirit, there are no boundaries. What is going to take place in this house will surely flow to wherever you are. All that we ask is that if you are on any of these platforms, make sure that you share the link. And if you are on YouTube, go even a step further. Be a subscriber. Once you've subscribed, make sure that you hit the notification bell so you may be notified whenever there is new content that is uploaded or whenever Alf Lukao and his sons and daughters come live. Hallelujah. Now, family, a radical is a person that advocates thorough and complete change. Yes. Now, in AMI, a, ra a radical does not just advocate. They cause complete change to come. Amen. They bring about a metamorphosis in your life. Yes. Now, do I have radicals in this place? Hallelujah. That's it. You're going to love the energy with the radicals. Now, I'm here to announce to you, family, that this weekend, the 19th of February, the radicals are calling you out on a date. In other words, they're trying to bring some change in your life. If you're tired of the now situation, you need to be at this session. From 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., the radicals are inviting you to a prayer and worship session. Now, family, this is an official welcome. Be there. You know what to do. Come and cause a change in your life. My goodness, my brother, on the 19th of February, we shall be worshiping God in spirit and in truth. Make sure that you don't miss out on that event. You may be asking, if I'm over 35, do I still qualify as youth? And my answer to that is a resounding, yes, you do qualify. Hallelujah. It is now time for announcements. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau live daily for the rise of the prophetic voice where the man of God goes deeper into the word of God from 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. Central African time. This will exclude Fridays and Sundays. Pastor Alf Lukau will also be live daily. This will be Let's Pray, a powerful moment of prayer with Pastor Alf Lukau from 10 p.m. until 11 p.m. Central African time. You can follow our man of God on his Facebook page, Alf Lukau. On Instagram, still Alf Lukau. And on Twitter, the handle is at Alf Lukau. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Pastor Alf Lukau. Don't forget to click on the bell for notifications on our live services and new videos. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau on these following TV stations. Faith World TV in the United Kingdom, broadcasting both online and on Sky Channel 589 every Saturdays from 7 a.m. until 7.30 a.m. Pastor of Lukau is now on Soweto TV, channel 251, every Sunday evenings from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m. We also have our own 24-7 TV channel, AMI TV, on the public bouquet, airing all over Africa and Europe 365 days a year. Our service times are as follows. 
We have our teaching and healing service every Friday from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. You are invited to come and fellowship with us every Sunday. Join us for our morning glory service, which starts from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m., followed by our celebration service, which starts from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m., and lastly, our Holy Ghost service from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. Hallelujah Ministries International is not a church of members, but a church of disciples. We have home cells held Wednesday evenings from 6.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. If you don't belong to any home cell, please either call the office or go to the home cell desk in the foyer on a Sunday. Here is a step-by-step -step guideline on how to make safe online payments to Alleluia Ministries International from any country around the globe using your computer, your laptop, your cell phone or any device of your choice. Let's begin. The first step would be to open your web browser. Type in www.alleluiaministries.com. This will lead you to Alleluia Ministries International's welcome page. Select the tab written Online Giving where you will find our three different payment options namely PayPal, Nedbank, and lastly, credit card or debit card payment options. For payment via PayPal, click on the PayPal icon which will redirect you to our PayPal payment page. Insert the amount you wish to transfer and click on the option Donate with PayPal or Donate with Credit Card. If you're paying with your credit card, fill in all your details, your credit card number, and click the box below to confirm that you've read all the information and finally click on Donate Now. For payments into our NetBank account, use only the banking details on Alleluia Ministries International's website. Our NetBank details are as follows. Account name, Alleluia Ministries International, NPC. Account number, 120-582-7692. Branch code, 197005. Swift code, NEDSZAJJ. Use your name and surname as reference, or use the purpose of your payment as reference. For example, tithes, seed offering, prophetic seed, IVP accommodation, or TV ministries. To donate using a credit card or debit card, fill in the information below in detail. Kindly note that payments will be deducted in South African rands. Once all information has been filled in correctly, agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box on your bottom left corner. Proceed to click on Place Order. Once all payments are made, you will receive an email from Alleluia Ministries International confirming that your payment has been well received. These are our only payment options, and you are advised to take extra caution. Thank you for your time, and may God bless you as you send forth your seed. Beloved, it is time for our offering. Praise the name of the Lord. Alleluia. That, for, that was for the humble me. Can we thank the Lord properly? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. We thank the Lord for affording us to be in his house. Hallelujah. Many in different places in the world cannot even gather to worship the Lord. 
So we ought to be thankful and grateful that we are freely worshiping the Lord. As the choir sang earlier, free worshipers. And we need to thank the Lord for that. Hallelujah. I greet you in the wonderful name of the Lord. Those on sight, you are all beautiful, shining. May the Lord just give you strength as we are soldiering on. Hallelujah. As we are soldiering on with our fasting and prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. And those watching us online, I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus. The Lord will do you good today. Amen. I would like to take this opportunity to honor my father, Apostle Alf Lukau. You are the best dad in the whole wild world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was the clapping of a father of a Kubu Kubu ministry. We do not clap and honor our father in that manner. Can we give him a standing ovation to our father? Those in the main auditorium, those on the overflow, can we give a standing ovation? You cannot sit as we are honoring our father in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't you agree with me that we have the best father? Hallelujah. So we ought to honor him for who he is and what he's achieving. Amen. Hallelujah. And we would like equally to honor our mother, the beautiful flower of our ministry, Bishop Celeste Lukau. Hallelujah. Our mother, our anchor, the mother in Zion. Mami, we salute you and we thank you for the beauty that you are and the strength that you are to so many of your sons and daughters. We salute you, mother. Hallelujah. We may take your seats. I would like just to share quickly on the importance of seeding. Amen. Hallelujah. Sowing a seed, putting down your seed is very important. After telling his people, the one that he created to multiply, to be fruitful. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, God showed them how to do so. 28, he told them, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. Hallelujah. There were only two. Hallelujah. But he told them to be fruitful and to multiply because he has given them the means to do so. Verse 29, we read, Hallelujah. 29, Genesis chapter 1, verse 29. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible reads, Then God, then God said, I give you every seed bearing plant for the. I need to read it this side. My apologies. I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the all earth. And every tree that has fruit with seed in it, they will be yours for food. Hallelujah. God made provision for what men should eat. He didn't give them the seed, the plant which is bearing seed. That one, he kept it for the animals. He gave them the plant which bears seed because he knew that they will have to multiply. If they have to multiply, they have to use what he has given them to put it aside and put it in the ground so that he can bear much fruit. Hallelujah. He was intentional in what he was giving them. He said, I give you the seed bearing fruit a tree sit bearing fruit for you to use so that you know that you have to keep some aside the secret in multiplication the secret in being fruitful especially in this year of the outstanding is for you to learn to keep aside what belongs to the Lord don't be a eater hallelujah the bible said that God give seed to the sower and bread to the eater it's not God who did those categories. No. It's the people who were receiving what the Lord has given them. The one who wanted to eat was called eater because he ate everything. But the sower took a part of it and said, I will put it down in the ground so that it can bear fruit and I will have provision for the next season. Hallelujah. So it's your choice to
either, either a eater or a sower. It's your choice. In this year of the outstanding, let us all be sowers. Hallelujah. Let us know and put to use the principle of multiplication. You want to multiply? Put down the seed in the ground. Am I talking to somebody? Hallelujah. You want multiplication? You want your finances to sow? Put the seed down in the ground. This is serious talk. That's why you are so quiet. Hallelujah. 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 We will talk it, we will speak about it until Jesus return. Learn to put aside your tithe. Learn to put aside your offering. Never come to the house of the Lord empty and end. I always say, in the same manner you put your dress, your trouser, your shirt to wear at church next day. Put next to it your offering. Are we together? You lay your shirt, your dress, your tie, whatever you are preparing and your beautiful shoes. Next to it, put a beautiful offering. Put your tithe next to it because you are going to worship your Lord. Amen? In the same vein, I want just to remind us, we are celebrating 20 years of existence. Hallelujah. We are AMI. Hallelujah. And our celebration. Hallelujah. I've read my Bible and I know you have done that. There has been not a, a time, there has ne never been a time where the people of Israel will go to celebrate the Lord empty-ended. Hallelujah. For our 20th years, I would like us to go all out. Hallelujah. I would like us to go all out. Why might the amen are so slow? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I would like us to go all out. I would like us to go all out. I would like us to go all out. We are talking about 20 good years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have been there. We went through things. Time to celebrate the Lord with our substance. You have to prepare a FT offering. I know what I will put on the ground. And my prayer is God. Add to that one so I can give double or triple what I've decided in my heart to put down on the ground. What about you? Let's celebrate the Lord with style. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate the Lord with style. Let's move the heart of the Lord in this uh, celebration. The 24th of February, let us come prepared and put a hefty seed on the ground in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we take up our offering? And if you are ready with that offering of the 24th, just write on the envelope and put it down on the ground. The Lord will surely reward you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I've learned that I have to commit to put aside my seed for sowing. Hallelujah. Don't rob God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you. We give you all glory and all praise. Here is our offering. Our worship unto you. Our worship unto you, mighty God and King of glory. Receive it, Papa, with all your heart. With everything, Papa, that you have given us. We want to say thank you. And we want to worship you back, Papa, with what you have placed in our hands. Our seed will always be there. So that we can show that we have understood how multi multiplication works. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you.
Now, testimonies time with Pastor Ulf Lukau. Shalom, shalom, people of God. I greet you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Vida Flowers. I'm coming to you live from Cromwell, Connecticut, USA. I am here to give two testimonies. But before I do that, give me the pleasure and the honor of honoring my spiritual parents, Pastor Ulf Lukau and Bishop Celeste. Lukau. Man of God, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Bishop Celeste, I loved you too. Um, ever since I've encountered you, Pastor Al, my life has never been the same. My walk with God has been closer. My relationship with God is more intimate. My prayer life is to the next level. I thank you so much, man of God. Before I get into my testimonies, I've encountered you in my dream many, many times. But there's this significant one I'm going to tell you about. It's May 19, 2021. I had a dream, Pastor Alf, that you and Bishop Silas invite me to your home for dinner. And I came, Pastor Alf, you were sitting at the head of the table, and Bishop Silas on the other end, and I was on the side. Anyway, I don't know what we had for dinner because I guess it was important for the Lord to reveal that. But anyway, I had supper. Then after dinner, Bishop Silas and I walked to another room. I was walking behind her. And then I looked down. She had a pair of stockings on, and on the calf of the stockings was two beautiful embroidered building roses. And all I can say, Bishop Silas, you're beautiful inside and out. And then I walked up to the kitchen, and Pastor Art, you, Apostle Art Lukau, was washing the dishes and drying them with a towel. And I felt so bad. I said, Pastor Art, I could have done that for you. And you looked at me, and you said nothing, nothing when the dream ended. I thought it was a beautiful dream. And this brought me to my first um, encounter, my first testimony. It's big God, big things in Paris. Before I went to Paris, I said, Lord, let me go to Paris and not come back to the United States, the same person. Do something that you have never done in my life before. Okay, so I went to Paris. I've never seen anything like that in my life. There were people falling on the power of God all around me. It was electrifying. It was a beautiful atmosphere. It was a charged atmosphere. So then it brought us back to the 29th and the 30th at the, um, the Hyatt Hotel Auditorium at the IVP. Electrifying again. Beautiful atmosphere. Charged atmosphere. There were people falling all around, the power of God all around. And I said, Lord, what happened to me? Why am I just standing like a stick, like a stone, like a tree? Why can't I soak up some of that anointing? Anyways, I went back to my hotel room at the Hyatt Hotel. I knelt on my bed. I said, Lord, if there's anything, if there's any blockage, just move it out of the way so I can experience some of that power of God, some of that glory of God. Then it brought me back to the 31st, which was graduation at the, the Hyatt Hotel. And I happened to be one of the graduates. Thank you, Pastor Hall. It was a beautiful teaching, beautiful lecturing. I thank you. Then the worship singers, charge atmosphere again. The worship singers were there praising God. I held my hand up like everybody else and the power of God came over me and he knocked me down twice. It was, uh, my life has never been the same. I came back to the United States and I'm a changed woman. God is so good. I thank you, Pastor Hal. I thank you for all the work that you have put in. I thank you for being such a strong covering over, over our head. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now this brought me to my second testimony. And in February 14, 2019, my body was stricken with a full-blown left-sided stroke that left me unable to walk, left me unable to speak, and of course I ended up in the hospital. Now, when I ended up there, I got physical therapy, so on and so forth. Now, the day after the stroke, the doctor came and saw me. And he spoke to me and he explained the MRIs to me. He explained the, um, the CT scan. He told me the stroke was caused from a blood clot. Anyway, I looked at my arm and I said, I said, first of all, I said, doctor, what's the prognosis? How long will I be able to recover from this stroke? The doctor looked at me. He said, you might never be able to walk again. He said, you might never use the left arm again. And I remember Pastor Al said, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. And I looked at my left side, I said, complete divine healing is taking place in my body right now in the name of Jesus. I said, complete divine healing is taking place in my body right now in the name of Jesus. By your stripes, Lord, I'm healed, 
I am delivered, I am made whole. But I remember like four days after the stroke, about 4 a.m. in the morning, I grabbed my phone from my hospital, the night stand in my hospital, the hospital room. I grabbed my phone, my cell phone, and I recorded a, a healing affirmation prayer. I bombarded heaven for 41 minutes, saying the same affirmation over and over and over again. Complete divine healing is taking place in my body right now in the name of Jesus. By your stripes, I'm healed, delivered, and made whole. And I said, Father, you don't have a left-sided stroke. And if I am in you, that means I am whole. And I kept bombarding heaven. And people of God, can I tell you, the God of half look out came and delivered me and healed my body completely. This is my arm. This is my leg. I can run. I can jump. God healed. Jehovah Rapha healed yesterday. Jehovah Rapha healed today. And he will heal tomorrow. People of God, if you have a problem, any illness in your body, God is no respect of persons. If he can heal me, he can heal you. And I remember, as a half arm, he preached a message entitled, the election of God and that was on May 1st 2020 and when I listened to that message I grabbed every single word Pastor Hansen you are God's elect God elect you for such a time as this he said may God make your name great he said may God make a blessing he said may God elevate you he said may God reposition you I grabbed those words I walk with them I sleep with them I chew them, I make them my own. I did the prophetic wave like Pastor Hart and I, I celebrated God for my healing. People of God, it's great to be healed. It's a great feeling to be healed. If I can testify, then you can testify too. And I believe it was in the same message or another one. But Pastor Hart says, when God has wrought a miracle into your life, he said, glorify God, testify about it, glorify God, and edify the body of Christ. Once again, Pastor Al, I just want to thank you, man of God. I want to thank you for the anointing on your life. And man of God, because you have poured so much into us, your sons and daughters, in terms of wisdom and knowledge, may God replenish everything you have poured into us. I honor you once again. I love you. I love you all. I am prophetic. I am apostolic. I am AMI for life. Uh, my name is Edward Harris Gomez from AMI Belgium. I just want to take this uh, opportunity to just uh, give thanks, share a testimony with your family, just to bless God for what he has been doing in my life. There is so much, but uh, I'll just keep the short one. But uh, first of all, I want to acknowledge and just uh, give thanks to God for my spiritual father, Apostle Aflukawu. Man, God, I acknowledge you. I thank God for his grace, for his hands, for his secret anointing upon your life. I bless God for really choosing you from among his people to be his mouthpiece for this generation. And I bless God for what he is doing in your life and for how further and higher he is taking you. May his grace and his hands never depart from your life. I also thank God for my spiritual mother, Bishop Celeste Lukau. Women of God, God bless you. God bless you for standing by. Man God, for walking with him, for supporting him in every way possible. I pray the hands of God that is upon your life, the light that shines upon your life will never grow dim, but continuously shine brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus. I just want to thank God for my life. I thank God for... This is concerning testimony from work. I am a system engineer by, by trade and um, I work for a, a company uh, in, in Brussels. And uh, my tax uh, really involves uh, going, uh, visiting uh, various uh, customer sites around Europe. And um, this, uh, I got a word from, uh, from Pastor Lelo, from, Christopher, from Pastor Christopher Lelo, as well as Pastor Perez concerning uh, promotion at work, concerning uh, more responsibility and um, this word indeed came to pass at work when I was handed down a project. It, uh, it's actually a project within a whole bigger project that we won just last year. And I was handed out one of this project to not just be the system responsible, but on top of my technical responsibilities to also manage this particular project. 
and I thank God for this because this is an actual and additional responsibility which I believe leads to more resources and more resources means more capability to support the kingdom of God in making sure that we empty hell and fill up heaven by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. So I bless God for this word that came and I bless God for giving me the faith to take this word and to believe in it because I know this is just the beginning of the outstanding and the excellence that is going to be seen in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters of AMI. My name is Avian. I want to honor my spiritual parents, Pastor Aflukau and Mama Celeste Lukau. Papa, I thank God for you answering the call. I'm here to give a testimony. On last Thursday, I woke up around 1 to 1 to 3, and I were on my knees and I prayed until 3 o'clock. After that, I went to bed and I had a dream with Bishop Jackie. We were in Trinidad and she told me that she's going with me to clean my house. We, when we got there, we started cleaning and she found a flower piece of cloth. She asked me what was that. I told her I really don't know. And she told me, burn it, burn it, put it on fire, burn it. I did as she told me and I woke up. Friday morning when I woke up, I called my daughter who lives there and I told her what I had dreamt. She told me, she told me, hey, yes, you dreamt with Bishop Jackie? I said, yes. I said, she told me to clean the house. Friday afternoon and teaching and healing service, I was surprised. The service was about cleaning your house. How many of us are not at peace in our home? You just don't know, but you're so unsettled in your house. You're asking your children over and over, what's going on? Is everything okay? You call your child in another province, is everything okay? In the meantime, the devil is right in your house. Somebody say, the devil is a liar. I saw a gift in my house that my daughter received. I couldn't believe it, that because then I got to eat. This is it. This is it that is destroying the, the presence of God in this house. Mind the gift. Without speaking, I just poured salt on it. I cursed that altar. Somebody gave a beautiful ornament. And she thinks it's somebody who loves her. But that ornament is an altar erected in the name of the devil. And it has entered my house. And the time I could not understand what devil am i fighting here death every day death fighting death for the past one and a half weeks until i came across this thing which point of contact is in your house that is planted like a rock that is established in your house but yet you do not know that it is an altar there are some things that you are hanging in your house you don't know where it came from there are some picture frames that is in your house, even with your own picture on, but it's of Satan. You don't, why would somebody want to give you a picture of yourself and you're so happy about it? What did they say over that picture? Do you need a picture from somebody? It is not good enough to move the things out of your house. You need permission in the spirit to move altars. Altars doesn't just get moved. Many of us make this mistake. We just take things out of our house. But we have not bound that enemy. Therefore, even when the things are out and burned, it still controls your house. There's a spiritual principle that you must adhere to. The Bible says when you get into the strong man's house, you must bind him up. May you bind out every strong man in your life in the name of Jesus. I said, oh, I am pathetic. Bless God for AMI family, and I thank God that I had an encounter with the prophetess, Bishop Jackie. May God bless you all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arv Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arv Lukau on all social media platforms at Arv Lukau. 
Hallelujah. Shall we all rise? Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory and praise. We bless your holy name, O King of Kings, Lord of Lords. We adore you, O God. There is none like you. None is deserving of the praise. Reke shata kaya na usi te dere kata ni mas. She te dere kosa na ya la musi kele re boshi ya. Reka mo boshi ya na musi te re kondo ro boshi. Roko boshi da ya la musi kele boshi ya. You are all that matters. 
In front of my melodies You are all that matters Oh, you are all And now make room for two You 
are all that matters. Oh, way, your way, oh, way, your way. You are all that matters. Oh, way, your way. You are all that matters. Oh, way, your way. You are all. Sing to you 
Bless you, Jesus. We honor you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you honor. You are God. Beside you, there is no other God. Lord, we adore you. We bless you, O King of glory. We bless you, Lord of Lord. We bless you, Most High God. We bless you who sit upon the throne with all power in your hand. We bless you, Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Redeemer of our souls. We bless you for our deliverance is in you. You set your sons free because you are God. You have made us and want us to be whole. Whole to worship you. Nothing broken, nothing missing. We come again, O oh God, from across the globe with our praise with our worship to lift you on high O king be thou glorified be thou glorified we bless you jesus we bless you we love to be in your presence we love to be here to exalt your name most high god la soto rebekanta you are the healer you are the restorer of our bodies we have sanctified ourselves unto you we have given our, our souls to you oh God we walk with you 
we march with you, O God. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, covenant keeping God. You said in your word and you will keep your word. The prophecy is right. The promise is true. Again, O oh Lord, you show your faithfulness. You show your mighty and your power. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sharababosa. Blessed be your name, O King of glory. Blessed be your name. You will live forever. Your kingdom is established. Your glory is at work in the church today. We bless your holy name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, O Jehovah. Thank you for your Holy Ghost. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My precious in the Lord, wherever you are, may I please begin by announcing to you that this is the day of the Lord. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day of deliverance, day of freedom, day you go free. Day doors will open up. Days you will make a giant step forward. Days of power. Day of glory. Day of testimony. I am prophesying over your life in Jesus name. This is that day. The day of the manifestation of the goodness of God. The manifestation of the glory of God. May this be sealed in your life. May this manifest in every area of your life. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, wherever you are, on site, online, pull it, say, I receive it. Oh, say it, I receive it. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. In Jesus' name. The Spirit of God means business today. I, his servant, means business today. <laughs> Satan cannot rule your life anymore. Satan cannot hold you bound anymore. You are of God. You win, you win, you win. Your son of victory wherever you are. Victory is yours in the name of Jesus. Am I speaking loud enough? Are you listening to me clear enough? 
Victory is yours in the name of Jesus. You win. They lose. I say you win. They lose. What the enemy meant for evil. God made it for your good. You are stronger today. You are better today. You are wiser today. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody wave to God. Wave to God. Wherever you are, wave to God. Wave to Jesus. Wave to Jesus. Wave to Jesus. In your homes, wave to Jesus. Hallelujah. In church, wave to Jesus. King of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, uh, we, we, we miss the time when we just uh, give each other a big hug and give each other a high five and so forth. We bless God because we know that he's restoring our lives, our communities, and he's restoring the world. Because we know that uh, even when winds come, after all, the Lord's word is the only word that will prevail. When all this is over, God's will be proven once again. That is God. And beside him, there is no other God. The only thing that cannot be changed, the only one that cannot be shaken, is Jehovah, our God. When everything around us will shake, the economy of the world will shake, the political line followed by many will shake. When our system, our health system, our education system, our defense system will fail us, Jehovah will never fail I said, Jehovah will never fail. I said, Jehovah will never fail. Now, those who lean on him are stable. Those who rely on him are stable. Those who trust in him are like Mount Zion. They cannot be moved. Shalom to you. Peace unto you. May God bless you. God bless you. Shalom. We have an assignment today. I want to welcome those of you Wherever you are, I will start with uh, the home, our home, our main home, our main church, the altar of God. Am I in Kelvin View Center? Shalom to you, sons and daughters of God. Shalom, I greet you. I greet you. Those of you inside the auditorium, I greet you. Shalom to you. Those in the overflow, thousands of us are in church giving God glory. I greet you, shalom, shalom, shalom. This is that time when those who are seated must stand up and wave to God. Because the shalom of God is the announcement of the peace of God in your life. This is that time when you wave to God, you wave and you say shalom, bake. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. God is a gracious God. God is a good God. It is beautiful to see pastors, ministers, bishops, right there in the house of God, disciples of Jesus Christ, home leaders, and that those who serve in different departments in the kingdom of God, in the house of God, in Calvin View, all be together. I want to greet you again. May the Lord bless you. Today, I want to focus specifically on you in Calvin View. You feel me today. I want to pray with you that the grace of God may touch every one of us. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Well, I see right there in Calvin View, my father, my mother, papa and mama, Sambundla. They came all the way from Tata in the Eastern Cape. That's where they stay. And uh, here and there, they come to visit us in Johannesburg. You know, the Sambuntla family is a blessed family because we have great women of God, that is mommy, servant of God, loving God. All she does is God, God first, everybody else last. And Papa, God bless you. I am here from Europe speaking to the world and I want to honor you today. May the blessings of God be with you. I just miss you. I love you. And I can't wait to be there. 
and give you a very, very big hug, a huge hug in Jesus' name. Shalom to you. God bless you. Those who are in different other places uh, on site, you are in Paris on site, you are uh, in uh, 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 United Kingdom, God bless you. You are in Switzerland, God bless you. You are in AMI Belgium, God bless you. You are in AMI Spain, God bless you. God bless you. The peace of God be with you. In Italy, God bless you. May the goodness of God be with you. In Amy, Greece, God bless you, bless you, bless you. The Netherlands, God bless you. Denmark, God bless you. Germany, Amy, Germany, God bless you. May the goodness of God overflow in your life. You are in Africa, in Kinshasa, God bless you. You are in Luanda, God bless you. You are in Mozambique, God bless you. You are in all our branches in Namibia, the Lord bless you. Zimbabwe, God bless you. In Bulawayo, God bless you. Arare, God bless you. You are in Botswana, the peace of God be with you. Shalom to you, shalom, shalom, shalom. May God's blessing be over all of you in Abuja. God bless you. And I greet the borough of his family. Shalom to you. I love you. I pray for you daily. You are dear to me. I treasure you. Shalom, shalom. Am I in Cameroon? Shalom to you. Ivory Coast. God bless you. You are in Burundi. God bless you. The cell, am I cell in Rwanda, in Kigali. Shalom, shalom. The peace of God be with you in Juba, South Sudan. All my sons and daughters, I greet you. I bless God for you. Am I in Tanzania? Am I in Kenya? The Lord our God is good. He is a good God. In Bujumbura, the Lord is with you. Shalom to you. Ghana, shalom to you. Gabon, Gabon, Gabon. Shalom to you, Libreville. Shalom to you, Amy Port Gentil. Shalom to you, wherever you are. God bless you. May the blessings of God rain down in your life. You are in some highlands. You are in Mauritius. You are in Madagascar. You are in Seychelles. Shalom to you. You are in Fiji. You are in Samoa. God bless you, Amy Samoa. I greet you in the name of Jesus. You are in India. The hand of God is upon you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You are in the United Arab Emirates. We greet you today in Jesus' precious name. You are in Abu Dhabi. You are in uh, Dubai. You are in uh, South Arabia. God bless you. You are in Qatar. You are in Doha. God bless you. You are in Kuwait. God bless you. You are in Oman. God bless you. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Good God. Hallelujah. You are in Singapore. You are in the Philippines. You are in Malaysia. You are in Hong Kong. Shalom to you. Shalom. Amy Japan. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom to all of you, wherever you are. Countries I've mentioned, countries I didn't mention. United Kingdom, God bless you. United States, God bless you. You are in uh, uh, Trinidad, Tobacco, God bless you. You are in Haiti, God bless you. You are in the Réunion, Lille de Réunion, God bless you. You are in uh, Guadeloupe, God bless you. God bless you, Amy Canada. God bless you. The peace of God be with you. In Jesus' name, you are in Aruba. God bless you. A tiny island. God bless you. God is a good God. Hallelujah. God bless you, Australia. God bless you, New Zealand. God bless you, Mandura. God bless you. I wish God I was with you right now. And I know God will allow me to come to Mandura and be with all of you there. I want to be in Perth with my family, my son, daughter, and with Amy in Perth. God bless all of you, wherever you are. What a mighty God we serve. He's a good God. He's merciful. You are watching us today, right now on Facebook. God bless you. 
2.4 million people who are part of our Facebook channel. The Lord bless you. As you connect today, keep on sharing this video. We are blessed to see that many of us are using this tool to reach the world with the word. 2.4 million growing. I want you to keep on sharing the video. Let as many people as possible be reached. And may God bless you. You are on YouTube. Today may God locate you. May his goodness manifest in your life. In Jesus name. And I also want to invite you on YouTube. Join this family. Become a subscriber to this channel. Over 1.3 million people are in this channel. Subscribed in this channel. 1.3 million people. I need you to be part of it. And God will keep on blessing you. Please take time. Check whether you have subscribed or not. If you have not yet, really I insist to subscribe. As you subscribe, you are building yourself. You are connecting right. And God will manifest his goodness and his faithfulness. He will bless you again and again. If you are watching on AMI TV with your family, I bless you. And I pray that you make sure that everybody in the family come to listen to the word because something good is about to happen to you. God is about to speak to you. God is about to bring you deliverance today. In Jesus' name, you on Periscope, May the goodness of God be with you. Please keep on commenting and letting us know what is happening. What God is saying to you. Your faith to God. You are on IGTV. On Instagram. I bless God for you. We have just over 1.9 million people on Instagram. And I believe that before tomorrow. So we may... Maybe get to two million already. Did, did you? Did you? You hearing millions, millions here, millions there, and millions there. But the grace of God is glorifying Himself. The Bible say, "As the Son of Man, the Son of God will be exalted, meaning lifted. He will draw all men unto Him." It is a blessing to see that. We are fasting. 40 days is almost over. Somebody say, Pastor, please, please do not say that we extend it. No, we're not extending for now. 40 days. We are almost there. We bless God. And as I said yesterday, if two will pray together, God say, He will hear them. And we are more than two. So it is an encouragement to all of us. We have 1.4 million people from around the world, different denomination, different people from different corners of the world, fasting and praying. They're not fasting to me. They're fasting to the God we serve. And to Him, all the glory, now and ever. I want to welcome those of you who are here on Zoom. My Zoom family, God bless you. Zoom family, where are you? Waiting for my Zoom family to appear. There they are. God bless you. Shalom to you. Shalom. God bless you. God bless you. Isn't it beautiful to see hundreds of you all here ready for greatness? Canada, God bless you. I love seeing you like this. God bless you. The Lord is a good God. Shalom to you all. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Together, we are worshiping God. Together. This is the working of God. This is the might of God. The Lord God saved us. He brought us together. Victory is yours today. Lana, receive it. In Jesus' name. Amai Duala, Cameroon. I see you. God bless you. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. God is a good God. He's a, he's a fantastic God. God is fantastic. Not caucastic. Fantastic. 
Let's cock and fanta. God is a good God. Will you, will you stretch your hands toward mine if you can? I want us to pray together, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray you bless your word. I pray you give us deliverance through your word. Let your word change our lives in Jesus' name. Do, O oh God, what you say you will do today in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Lift your hands and say, today is my day. Say it again, today is my day. Oh, say it until you believe it. Say, today is my day. In the overflow, Calvin view, lift your hands and say, today is my day. Inside the auditorium, say, today is my day. Wherever you are, whatever you're going through, this is a confession of your faith. Say, today is my day. You gotta believe it. If you believe it, so shall it be. Say again, today is my day. You are speaking in faith. You may not know all that God has in store for you, but you just know that something good is coming your way. Lift your hand again. Say, today is my day. Hear me, there is power when a daughter of God begins to speak in the name of the Lord. There is power when a son of God begins to speak in the name of the Lord. When a woman who is given to God begin to open her mouth and declare words in the name of the Lord. When a child of God, a son of God, and a man who is sanctified, who is redeemed, open his mouth in the assemblies of the saints and begin to speak, uttering all words in the atmosphere, there is power that derives from it. Lift your hand and say, today is my day. You are prophesying right now when you say that. When you are saying that is a prophecy. You are commanding things to align so it may favor you. What was not to be manifested will manifest because you declare it. Say today is my day. Leon Jo Leo. Leon Jo Leo. Today is today when you say Leon Jo Leo. May God glorify his name. May the peace of God manifest in your life. May the power of God be your portion. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be, it cannot be otherwise. In Jesus' name. In your day today, God is giving all of us deliverance. Lift your hand and say, set me free, O oh God. Say, set me free, O oh God. Bring me back, O oh God. Say, bring me back, O oh God. When you say, bring me back, O oh God, you're not saying that you are lost. No, you are saying, bring me to a place of complete alignment. I need to be exactly where you want me to be. Somebody will do great things in this year, in this season. The Lord has taken you through giving through seed sowing, through fasting and praying, through confession, not in vain. He has been positioning you for something that I will take the world by storm. I am speaking to you, and this is the word of God for you. Can you hear the voice of God? The Lord is positioning you to get in the place of complete victory. Because of this, today is critical. Because of your calling, today is indispensable. Your tomorrow demands your today to be this way. Today is designed to help your tomorrow. If you miss today, you will stumble and struggle in your tomorrow. God has to do today what he has to do so tomorrow he may fulfill what he say he will fulfill. You got to get what is yours in the name of Jesus. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? You will not die. You will live. You will declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That's why my precious in the Lord I want you activated. 
I want you so activated that you will not sit still today. It doesn't matter if it is the first time you're connecting with me today or not, but today you're waking out. If you are at home, move away from any form of distraction, whatever competes for your attention with God, move it away. It is a time where you travail. It is a time where you get what is yours in Jesus' name. Lift your hand again, prophesying to yourself. Say, today is my day. Somebody is in a hospital as you're saying that. The Lord is completely healing you. You will go back home discharged because God is saying, you will not go down before your time. You will not die before your time. I'm insisting on this. You will not die before your time. As you're saying, today is your day. May the Lord fulfill it in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. Now, there are evil forces out there, evil spirits, that are designed to undermine the will of God in your life. Those diabolical spirits are real, cunning, evil, merciless. They are deployed all around sons and daughters of God. The mission is to stop the will of God from manifesting in your life and through your life. Now, as you live your life, you must be mindful that you are not the only one interested on you. There are forces out there beyond the angels of God who are also interested on your prophecy. There are forces out there who are interested on your destiny. They are interested on the promise of God in your life. The interest is not that the word of God may come to pass, that you may succeed, that you may grow, that you may manifest the goodness of God. No, the interest is on how to stop you, how to beat you in your own game, how by all means they may undermine the will of God. Many people who are simple, they have the right promise with the right God, they have the right heart, the right attitude. But because they do not have the understanding by revelation of what happens in the spiritual realm. They live their life as normal as it can be. They wake up in the morning with a good heart and intention and try to do the best they can. And they go back and sleep to wake up the next day. They fall in the trap of the enemy because life is not that simple. Life cannot be summarized to everything that we do in the physical realm. Life is not what we just merely see every day in everything we do. I just want to look beautiful. I just want to have my life. No! No! It goes beyond that. This is my precious in the Lord. The reason why Jehovah through Jesus Christ has given us authority. He said, when you go through your life, you must exercise authority. Because he understood that if you will not have the power to exercise authority, the enemy will come and interfere on all that God has designed for you. And stop you. In becoming all that God called you to be. Oh well, I have experienced the saddest thing ever in people's lives. People who are called and given great mission on earth. Either aborted the mission. Never manifested the glory. Or have been deleted by the enemy. People with good heart, looking good. Being wasted. And let me tell you, it is heartbreaking. Heartbreaking to see somebody who looks like a champion. Somebody who has it all in the natural realm to be one of the greatest. But seeing him fall daily. 
Good men die. Good women die. Some die even having the Bibles in their hands. Because you see, until you are able to decode the scriptures, having a bought Bible cannot completely set you free. The Bible says you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You got to know the truth, not just have potentially a book of the truth. But you must be able to know the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see out there is not all that there is. God wants you to be in the place of complete victory. This world expects you and I to manifest. The Bible says the creation expects the manifestation of the sons of God. You are a son of God and God has called you, anointed you for significance. You are not born to struggle for food because if you keep on struggling for food, you will not be able to be used by God as a vessel to provide for others. The enemy has locked you in a busy schedule of insignificance. The whole of you created in the image of God, deployed on earth for greatness, is now bound on how to survive. I'm a survivor. God does not want you to merely try to survive. The will of God for you is not that you just exist. The will of God for you is that you may live, not merely exist. He wants you to fulfill that which he has set you on earth for. There is a greater purpose in your life than just paying rent. There is a greater purpose in your life than just trying to survive from uh, the first day of the month till the end of the month. Hear me, I'm speaking today in the name of Jesus. If you are under the sound of my voice, hear this. God is taking you where you are, leading you where he said for you to be. In the name of Jesus, I am declaring over you promotion. God is promoting your life from where you are, from the battles, from the, the struggle of where you are. He's lifting you up. In the name of Jesus. As I'm speaking right now, the, the word of God is coming with the power of God that is elevating you. You will do exploit with God. I pray in Jesus' name. Destiny manipulators, spirits of the enemy, rulers in the evil domain of Satan, oppressing men and women with the sole mission of deviating the steps from that which God has drawn. The Lord calls you for glory. They come through all kind of orchestrated circumstances around you to defeat you from inside out so you may move out of your way. Destiny manipulators, they come to try to influence men and women out of the way, the path that the Lord has set for them. There are people who are supposed to be right now in the word of God. Satan, for some reason, managed to move them out of the way. There is no glory. There is no victory in quitting. No matter what the reason of quitting was and seemed to be good. Quitting is a failure. Those who are supposed to be on the pulpit, for some reason, decided... Pulpit is not good for me anymore. You used to serve in the house of God. You chose, oh well, it is not perfect for me anymore. People in the choir are not living holy. For this reason, I'm no longer part of that. Now, where are you? 
Where are you compared to the days when you were there in the house of God? Where are you? When is the last time you really served God again? Your destiny has been tempered with. You started well with the fire of God until the pandemic came. Your spiritual life has been COVID. Because right now you can check your life before the pandemic and after the pandemic. You used to be on fire until lockdown. You used to serve God. You used to share the word of God until they say quarantine. Now all your wings have been clipped. The enemy for some reason managed to use circumstances and things around to move you out. God want to restore you back on track because what he had called you for is greater. Your tomorrow is a set for the glory of God to manifest. Oh well, you, you were following God with all hopes of greatness tomorrow. But you see, Satan came to tell you in 2017, he said, look at you. You had hoped by now you will be somewhere. Nothing happened. 2018, 2019, 2020. Now you feel ridiculed every time you want to hope again. It tells you, oh well, you are still at it. Don't you see by now that it doesn't work? The devil is a liar. Hear me. Every day that you live, every day that you survive, God is bringing you closer and closer and closer. And sometimes, though you may not see the big picture, God is taking you through a process. When he moves you through the process, you look back and see the full picture of what God has done. It is often day that you stand and say, Lord, now I see. Can you imagine if Job... Could have said that it is too painful. I will follow the gospel, the preaching of my spouse. We say curse God and die. It's not working. Where could he be? He persevered. He refused to turn away. He remained undeterred. He resisted the spirit that manipulates destiny. He said, I will not be moved. I will remain on my path. The Bible said, God gave him double for his trouble. God is faithful. God is faithful. God does not lie. His word is proven. His word is bankable. You can trust God. Even when you cannot trace him. Trust him. He is God Almighty, God all by Himself. Keep your eyes on Him. Abraham got a promise. Abraham had to be patient. Abraham trusted God until the last day. Can you imagine if Abraham, for some reason, decided to give up? He would have not been called the father of faith. It is only in consistency, in perseverance, that goodness and glory manifest. May it be your portion today in the name of Jesus. I say, may it be your portion in the name of Jesus. Galatians, Paul is speaking to these beautiful people. The people that he shared the word first when he was still in pain physically himself. He was going through a physical challenge when he shared the gospel to the Galatians. Now he's speaking to the Galatians. In Galatians chapter 3, verse 1, 2, and 3. He's here expressing a form of a shock. That those who were yesterday on the path, the right path, have been deviated. They were yesterday in the light and now they are in darkness. Hear me in the bracket. 
Let everyone who thinks that he stands take heed, lest he falls. Put yourself in the right space with right boundaries because anybody standing can fall, refuse to fall. There are people who yesterday were on fire. Today they are alone, no longer on fire. So he's speaking to the Galatians. He said, oh foolish Galatians. This is how the chapter be- be- begins. Foolish Galatians. Galatians did not see themselves as foolish. They felt that they were wise. They felt that the move was well informed. You left the church and you feel justified. You abandoned the path of God. You feel justified. You have removed your hand from your altar. You feel justified. Not knowing that your life, your success, your future is linked to your altar. My altar, my life. You moved out of your covenant. You feel justified. Paul said, foolish Galatians. Who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? Galatians, Galatians. Who has manipulated your destiny? That today you are no longer following the truth, following the path of God. The same word is being echoed by the Spirit of God to the church of God today. The Lord has drawn a path for you. Do not move away from it. You see, what has moved you is a form of bewitching. Bewitching here is linking it to witchcraft. And witchcraft in the context simply means spiritual evil influence or manipulation he said somebody did some great grease to get you out of where you're supposed to be you were right and now you are not there you say at last they drive and you are happy you you you, you think that uh, you have spoken well you know I, I just lost the drive it's supposed not to be like that what you do not know is that in the spiritual realm, there are forces that are working together in a coordinated manner to get you slowly but surely out of the zeal of God. The devil is a liar. May the Lord strengthen you today. May the Lord bring you back in Jesus' name. He carries on and say. Before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified. This only I want to learn from you. Did you receive the spirit of the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish? Having begun in the spirit, are you now being made perfect by the flesh? You started in the spirit. You embrace the wrong doctrine today. You turn from God. Do you still love God the way you loved him yesterday? Do you still feel the peace of following what God has set for you? Are you still facing the right direction as the Lord has set your path? Where are you? Where are you? You, you? you are meant to be right with God. You are meant to be right in front. Sacrificing for the kingdom of God. Paying the price for the glory of God. That is your destiny. The spiritual fatigue that uh, some have been experiencing is orchestrated by the enemy. Is trying to put weight on you, trying to put pressure on you, so that uh, you may not pray as you used to pray, that you may no longer give as you used to give, as you used to serve God. He's trying to shift you. But today I pray for you. 
May the Lord strengthen you. Hear me. The works of the enemy are never to be undermined. Never. Satan is cunning, is evil. And I can tell you, one of the most activated enemy we have worldwide is in the, in the unseen, the invisible. And his works is not limited to just institutions. He attacks everyone, born and unborn, young and old, big and small. Many destinies have been stolen by the powers of the enemy. You are listening to me. This is your own experience. No matter how hard you try, it seems like there are forces that keep on pushing you back. You are fighting and moving against the current at all times. Literally when you do an assessment of your life, you have very little to show for your efforts. You work like an elephant and eat like an ant. You, you're walking but not moving. You are marching but not progressing. You are under siege. You feel the struggle in everything you do. There is nothing that you can really point and say, this has just come by the grace of God, it manifested. You have to fight for every bit of thing that you have. Even the tiniest thing, you got to fight for it. When people talk about peace, oh well, I am in a relationship and the relationship is bringing me peace. God has favored me. God has given me some form of strength. You, you don't tell that story. For you, it is too far-fetched. You are fighting evil powers at work. The enemy has released an army to stop your steps. Hear me, if it was not so, some people could have been very far. With the kind of intelligence God has given you, the skills and the talent that God has given you, even the opportunities that you have, but still nothing is happening. There is a force that stands in front of you and stops you. No matter what you do, you're not going anywhere. And the enemy is bringing all kind of uh, dust and dirt in your life. It's because Satan is afraid of you. He knows that uh, if you keep on moving, undisturbed, undisrupted, you will bring deliverance in your family. Your family will be saved through you. Your community will see the light through you. The manifestation of God through concrete things will happen through you. The promise of old will find expression through you. Satan understands that. He wants you to be so ordinary that you are not mindful of what really makes you you. The day a commando in any army thinks that he's just like a mere man, he stop being an investment that I will see the country defended. When somebody who has been trained for might, mighty battles thinks that he's just a civilian, when there will be a gunshot, he will run like civilians. He will go hiding like civilians to the profit of the adversaries. But when a commander knows that I am a soldier, I am trained for battle, and he has gone short, for him it will be a cue to jump in the battlefield. Satan want to convince you that uh, you are just you. You are just a little girl. You are just a woman. You are, in fact, a woman rejected. You are a man that cannot do anything. You cannot provide for your family. He's trying to stop you. And today, God is breaking the yoke of the enemy. 
Your destiny is drawn by God. God wants you to be all that he called you to be. Hear me. God finds pleasure in the prosperity of his saints. God finds pleasure in the prosperity of his saints. This is the will of God. He wants you to progress. He wants you to achieve. You are the tool that God has. If Satan succeeds to stop you, to undermine you, one more down for God. You must inspire the next generation. If the world will be the only example of success for the kingdom of God, then we are lost. The next generation must look at your faith and be inspired to be in faith. They must look at uh, the achievement of your hand and be inspired. To be great is a good thing, not a bad thing. To achieve much is to be applauded. Not insulted. Whatever force out there that is working together to get you to a place where you produce nothing. You are sterile. It's not of God. You are born to do exploit. Am I speaking to somebody? You are born to take over until Jesus returns. May the limit that the enemy has brought in your mind be taken away. God had called you to build cities. But right now you cannot even afford to pay your rent in a small room. A destiny manipulator has been working, stopping you where he knows that God wants to lift you up. Your health has been under assault because a destiny manipulator does not want what God said for you tomorrow to manifest. Today, I destroy the work of evil in Jesus' name. I destroy it in Jesus' name. There will be deliverance in the house today. You are listening to me. There will be, not there might be. I said there will be deliverance in the name of Jesus. What Jehovah say he will do, no man can stop him. Today, as I am speaking, every diabolical spirit that has been orchestrating evil, stopping you, pulling you out of your way, is packing already. They are packing already because God has released an anointing that will restore you on your path of greatness. And I see speed coming your way. God is saying the first will become the last and the last will become the first. The years that you lost, God is restoring them in the name of Jesus. For those of you who are fasting, I thank God you are fasting. I thank God you are praying because this can only be God doing something in response to your faith. In the name of Jesus. Ephesians speaks of one of the cunning way of the enemy. Chapter 6, verse 10, 11, 12. Ephesians says this, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Finally, my brethren, meaning you and I, be strong in the Lord. I gotta be strong in the Lord. I keep on speaking to my generation. We do not serve a weak God. God is not weak. We are not just mere people that used to go to church. You see, when I was growing up, I was in the church. I was really in the church. I was part of the choir in the church. We'll go to this big cathedral 
And all I wanted was to be like my priest. But you see, it was just a going in, doing certain things and go out. No, that is not what God is asking you in this level. God wants you to know that he has called you to be strong in him. The world needs people who know God. The Bible says the people that know the God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. There is nothing small about us. Us here meaning those who are redeemed. The Lord our God is the greatest. Salvation is the greatest. The investment of God in you is the greatest. So we do not walk broken. We are not beggars in God. Somebody say, I am not a beggar in God. There must be that revolution in your heart. No, I'm not just what is known as a religious person out there. Somebody who lives for dogmas. No, I'm a child of God. I'm a dangerous weapon in this generation. Did you hear that? Ask wizard around, they'll tell you how dangerous he is. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. In the Lord, we are strong. In the Lord, we are strong. We don't just are wishing we are strong. You are broken. We can see it the way you talk. We can see it in your mind. We can see the way you look. We can see you in your project. You, you, you are a champion of a small, small things. But yet you say, I'm strong in the Lord. No! Pull yourself together. You are God's best investment. You must strengthen yourself. You are God's carrier. Your body is a sanctuary. You are an ecclesia. You are the temple. The Bible says the spirit of the living God dwells in you. He said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I love that. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. It's all about power. When you understand that you have dominion, when you understand that everywhere you go, the Lord comes in, power comes in. Somebody lift your hand and say, devil, in the name of Jesus, I command you, Leave this place, leave my life, and never return in Jesus' name. When you have authority, he say, be strong in the Lord. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You can be strong in the Lord, relationship. You can be strong in the charisma. In the power of his might. The power of his might. This is what we do. Lift your hand again. Say, I am a weapon in the hand of the Lord. Say, I am a weapon in the hand of the Lord. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Now he carries on and says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the walls of the enemies. And this is really what I want to just point out to the walls of the enemy. He say, put on the full armor of God. He's speaking to everyone who's a child of God. He say, put on the full armor of God. Who has to put it on? There are certain things that God expects you to do. He say, take the full armor and put it on. Children of God who are passive do nothing. They get nowhere. There are responsibilities that God has laid on the body of Christ. As a child of God, there are certain things that God wants you to do. Oh, I'm just here. God will deal with the devil himself. God will not deal with the devil himself. He said, I've given you a loaded gun. Every time the devil shows up, pull the trigger. He will not pull the trigger for you. He has given you a loaded gun. He said, in my name, you'll cast out devils. It is you who cast out devils. Oh, well, if it is the will of God, maybe it will happen. 
you do not understand that the will of God has to be enforced. It does not just happen. Everything bad that happens, you say, is the will of God. Because for you, the will of God is automatically something that happened. If it was so, nobody would go to hell. Because the will of God is that everybody may be saved. But yet men have to choose. We choose the will of God and submit to it. You need to enforce the will of God. Every child of God must understand my tithe, my giving, my prayer, my commitment, my holiness, my consecration is a part of what I need to do in God. I'm activated. I win souls. I go out there, I invite somebody, I share the video, I do certain things to produce what God is uh, set for me to have. He said, put on the full armor of God. Why should you put on the full armor of God? He said, so that you may be able, able, A-B-L-E, be able, speaks of ability, so that uh, you may have the ability to resist you got to be able. There are children of God who want to be able to do certain things, pushing the devil away, but they find themselves unable to do so. Why? Because they have not done what they're supposed to do before. You must put on the full armor of God. If you have not put on the full armor of God, you will be unable, disabled, to stand against the walls of the enemy. The walls of the enemy here speaks of the tactics of the enemy. You see, we are fighting. The enemy has tactics. Tactics, walls, W-I-L-E-S. Walls of the enemy. The strategies of the enemy. I keep on saying, call the devil whatever you want him to. Call him ugly, stinky, vicious, merciless, call him a liar, never call him a fool, because the devil is not a fool. When he comes to attack, he's not playing cheeky cheeky. He does not shoot blank. He means to tear your life apart. The Bible says, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He doesn't come to keep you warm. To keep you company. It comes to steal. To kill. And to destroy. And it does not just come like that. He, he has walls. He's a strategist. That's why you need to put on the full armor of God. You must be right in God. Destiny manipulators are waking. And it is through the schemes of the enemy. The ways of Satan that is pulling men and women down. Today, the blood of Jesus Christ is setting us free. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Oh, well, you see me from the doctrine where I come from. We do not just cast out the devil. That's why the enemy is dealing with you this way. It doesn't go with for your doctrine. It is a sad thing. If you do not cast out the devil, he will cast you out. This is why in the present people are living in the past. You used to be well, but you are not well today. It is time to put on the full armor of God. I sense in the Holy Ghost that God is setting his sons and daughters free. Hear me, my precious in the Lord. Satan wants to stop the church. He wants to stop God's sons. There are people who by destiny, Satan sees where God is taking them. And he's trying to stop them. You are listening to me. For, for the devil, you are that male child that is born among the Jews. And he's trying to stop you because Pharaoh had said to all the wise 
women of Egypt, if they be found a male child born from the, the Jews, the Israelites in Egypt, kill that child. Not because he had a personal problem with male children, but he saw in every male child a threat to his kingdom. You are under attack. The enemy is trying to undermine you because he knows what you are made of. Business is not coming as it's supposed to. Relationship is a struggle. Family is a struggle. Something has been working together against you. Sometimes you ask yourself, why? How so? People gang against you. You do not know why. The king wanted baby Jesus Christ to die. Not because he had a problem with a baby. No, he saw in the baby the promise of the Messiah. When there is a promise in you, they will kill every baby if they have to, just to stop your destiny. Don't you see that this is what the enemy has been up to? But today I pray in the name of Jesus for freedom in your life. Lessika Robo Soto. May the Lord set you free. May every yoke of the enemy be destroyed. May whatever is undermining the will of God from coming to pass in your life be destroyed. That sickness is a weapon in the hand of the enemy to undermine the plan of God for you. I destroy it in Jesus' name. That misunderstanding that is consistent in everything that you do with others relationship wise is a weapon in the hand of the enemy to stop you from advancing in what the Lord has designed for you. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. That diabolical spirit stealing your money, stealing your resources, keeping you broke, keeping you dry has been working to undermine the progress of what God set in your life and destroy his grip in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand where you are. May the grace of God be with you. May the power of God manifest in your life. May that freedom be yours. I want you to engage in spiritual warfare. Everyone, wherever you are, take authority. Say, my path are ordained by God. My ways are set by God. My destiny is established in God. I will walk my walk. I will run my race. I will do what the Lord has called me to do. My feet will not be deviated. I am of God. Anointed by God. To be the best I can be. Praise be to God. Every evil power. Working against my progress in God. Working to undermine the plan of God in my life. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. In the name of Jesus. Lama Soto Boshia. The blood of Jesus is on me. The blood of Jesus is on me. The devil can do me no harm. Lezeri azili yamazo. Lezita aze kotobo soyobo. Zali 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 korobo soto. Masheri katababo bo soto. In the name of Jesus, my life is blessed by God. My life is blessed by God. La sita rakatoma. Mazekeri arababo soto. Pray the Holy Ghost. Every evil power of the enemy, every yoke of Satan is destroyed. Devil, the blood of Jesus is against you. Your evil power, the blood of Jesus is against you. I command you out. 
in Jesus name take authority against the forces of hell take authority against whatever the enemy has done you will not die before your time Satan will not stop you from living from growing your children according to God from manifesting the glory of God it will not happen today I pray the fire of God today I pray the fire of God let's do your bobo soto you are a woman of God you cannot be undermined you are called to serve God your life is given to God the enemy is trying to come with confusion so you may not serve God the devil is a liar your destiny is a destiny of power let's see Ramazolobosia as we are praying God is touching and rectifying things there is an investigation against you child of God I'm thinking to you they are investigating you because they're trying to trouble your life they're trying to find wrong in you because the enemy is against what your hand is doing but I do not be afraid because your lawyer is the Lord the advocate by excellence has stepped in Let's see the arobo celebe canta. Yahweh, 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 Korobo Zete Rebe Koto. Pray in the Holy Ghost, flow in the presence of God. Flow in the presence of God. Zete Robo Shela Bakanta Babobo. Yema Soto Bobo Konto. It is that day, it is that moment. That day, that moment in the Holy Ghost. That day, that moment in the Holy Ghost. Salabake Rebe Konto. I am praying. The glory of God, the goodness of God, the mercies of God. Receive it is all yours in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of Satan. I break the yoke of Satan. And this power in the name of Jesus. Everyone who is on site, wherever you are. You are in Libreville. You are in Port Gentil. You are in Douala. You are in... Uh, Paris, in Champs-Élysées, you are in London, in UK, especially those of you in Kelvin View. Lift your hand as high as you can. And all of us online, please do the same and remain connected to what God is doing now. Lift your hand as high as you can get. There will be a mighty wind of God that will set men and women free. Leading us back to where we ought to be. Karabasele. Lord, Lord, now. Now. Now, oh God. Release your glory. I command every yoke of the enemy to drop now. In Jesus' name. Every yoke of the enemy drop now. In Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name Saterika Rababosoto this is what I want to do those of you who are on site I say I'll pray for everybody but you are in Calvin View Center in Johannesburg bishops and pastors I want you to get ready and just be there and help me. I want to pray for sons and daughters of God that is setting free. I see a daughter of mine that God is just lifting up. God is lifting up. God is lifting up. Kevin Hugh, Minister Pamela. Minister Pamela, if you're there, I want you and I to do something. Please come on the stage. Come on the stage. I want everybody to be in the praying mode. Pray, pray, pray. Run if you are there. If you are there, run. 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 Soko Toboshia. Seke Teke You and I are doing something together. Jesus, Jesus, on the stage, on the stage, not in front, I want you in, on the stage. We, we're doing something together. 
Everybody be in the spirit of God. Everybody be in the spirit of God. Jesus. 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 Now, my, my precious daughter, while you are there, this has come through what is connected to you. I am praying for Paula Moyo. Paula Moyo, please join Paula Moyo. Connected to Pamela, Pamela, Paula, 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 Paula Moyo, please come. Paula Moyo, come. Nato Boshia. God has a word that is changing your life, Paula. Because God has remembered your family. Everybody be in the praying spirit. In Jesus' name. I want Paula to come. Paula to come. Paula Moyo. Freedom, the freedom of God is for all of us. The freedom of God is all that we see today. Wherever Paula is, I need her to come. God, God is blessing a son and a daughter. And that is connected to you, my precious daughter. I saw you. Then I heard. I saw you, Pamela. Then I heard. And may the blessings of God come. May the blessings of God come. Bishops be close by. God is doing something awesome. While we are there, I see in the overflow, in the overflow, I am in Calvin View. Lehato. Lerato, Lerato Makubela. Today God is setting you free. I see, and God is saying, is setting Lerato Makubela free. You are born on the 10th of September. The 10th of September, 1993. You live in Protea Glen. You are a mother of two. But God want to deal with uh, that personal thing that is happening in your life. Not only in terms of relationship, but uh, you, you sense it. You sense things moving in your spirit, in your body. And even right now, it seems like uh, you feel it in your stomach. Lerato Makubela. I want you also to come. Whoever is coming, let him go to, to the stage. I can't see. I can't see you. I'm speaking to a camera. La Sekerebe Gondo. Very quickly, I see from the overflow, from the overflow, Serebe Conto. There you are. Your day of freedom. My daughter, your day of freedom. Your day of freedom. Lama Sokoto Boshia. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Serebe Kanta, the Lord is doing it. Okay, can my team help me see what I'm saying here on the studio? Junior, can, can I be able to see what I'm saying? Can I have a connection here? Shoko Rabagen de Messiah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lama Sekerebe Konto, Bokolo Boshia. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Rama solo bo konto. Marebe koto bo I am waiting for the connection. I want to see what I'm saying. Sete rebe konto. Serebe kolo bo sholo. If Paula is not in there, he must come. She must come. Because God, my precious daughter, God is doing something 
that will turn your family around, and especially Paula. Paula Lasso Koroboshia. The consultancy she's doing with uh, insurance, God has remembered her. God has remembered her because of your prayers. God has remembered. I'm even hearing the nine the nine nine. God is doing something. The hand of God will reach everyone. But right now, God is remembering your precious one. I see them in cosmos cities. Like this, is supposed not to be the life. Zivanai is an intelligent person that God wanna turn around now. God is turning around his life just like he did for Jacob and he did for Joseph. Is doing for him. Jacob in the house of Laban prospered. Joseph in Egypt prospered. God is doing something. Marebe Kolobo Soto. My Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus. Marebe Serebe Kotoboshia. While we are praying, I'm taking it easy. If you are there in Calvin View, your name is Mandisa. Mandisa. I am seeing innocent Kanyane. I want you to come to the front. God is turning your story around. Is doing it because it's God. The twenty fifth, yeah, the twenty fifth, the twenty fifth. Rama solo bosoto. Ola, your time has come. Mandisa, the twenty fifth of June. The Lord is doing for you what only He can do. La sete kerebekente. Come, come to the stage. If I call you Mandisa, please come to the stage. I want to see this. There goes. There goes. There goes. Freedom today is coming. Freedom. Freedom. Here it is. La sete kerebe. I'm calling you all because God intends to set you free. Your hands is dry. God is opening it up. The glory of God, the power of God is all that God wants you to see. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Heidi, Heidi. There is a mama that God is setting free. God is setting you free. And is setting your family free. Your name is Heidi. Heidi Dick. Heidi Dick. You are married to Gerald. 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 Oh, mommy. La Soto, that's you. Lama Soto Bokoto. Bring her up. Make her stand. Make her stand. Make Mama Heidi stand. Make a stand. You, when I look at her now, I may not see her face properly, but I can see that I, the, even this is not a, a weight. She, she has lost weight. I've seen the Holy Ghost. Because I have one picture and I'm seeing another picture. Now, bishops, I want you to help me pray. Mama Heidi, something is happening in your life. A testimony is coming your way. This is what the Lord has shown me. Is bringing deliverance in your house. Complete deliverance. Your family has been in bondage. There goes the power of God. Your husband Gerald. 
your husband Gerald. Gerald lost his job. I see as if he was working in the mine with your son. COVID came. But God is breaking the yoke of the enemy because all this has been op the operation of a spirit against your destiny and the destiny of your family. Your entire family is under a siege of the enemy. And this is what God is breaking. Such a, an oppression that your son, the enemy has been trying to steal the life of your son. Your son is so depressed. The enemy wanted to steal the life of your son. It's like a spirit of suicide had come. And God is saying that that spirit is still roaming around. But God has defeated it once. He's defeated it again. God is releasing his goodness and his grace in your house. In Jesus' name. Mama Heidi Dick from Europe where I am in the studios of AMI. I release the glory of God over you. In Jesus' name. I am seeing your daughter. Hear me. Your daughter has the star of God in her. Your daughter has a star. Janine. Janine has a star. The star of God is in Janine. But what the enemy has been pushing her through is what is causing her now to lose balance. Satan is trying to get her out of the God's ordained path is set for him. Your daughter. I see two children. I see she has been through a rough time. I see divorce. She divorced. And not only has she divorced, right now, I, I don't know if I have a liberty to speak in this way, but I just want to let you know that I can see the relationship she's in right now. I can see that. But even that does not stop the will of God from manifesting. Let's Korobo Soto. I am speaking in the Holy Ghost and everything that is revealed is condemned. I see Janine with a star of God, mother of two. I see her right now. Please tell her that I have said in the name of the Lord that she should not give up because God is with her. And the love of God for her is a reality. And tell her I know about the white lady. I know in a relationship she is into now. And my bishop, I want you to pray for mommy, but you pray this way. Let me tell you how you pray. Bishops, are you there? Let's do this for Jesus Christ. Before you lay hands, this is what you do. I want you to say, gambling spirit, get out of her. Say it in power. Gambling spirit, get out of her. There is a gambling spirit. You have not shared that with anybody. There it goes. That is stealing spirit. Sorry to reveal your secret, but it is for your deliverance. Uh, bring her up until she gets it completely. Somebody bring her up. Gambling spirit is broken. In Jesus' name. That is in her. Shake your rebe conto. Break it. Break it. In Jesus' name. The addiction in a family, drug addiction, is like a drug. Everybody's addicted here and there in the family. God is breaking it. He's setting her free. He's setting her free. He's setting a family free, a daughter free, a son free in Jesus' name. 
Labakorobosoto. In Jesus' name, Paula. Paula, Paula. Lema Soto. Paula and Pamela. My precious daughter, Pamela. My daughter Pamela, the Lord had told you through me, your father, you will serve God with your father. And even now, the glory of God is manifesting the same prophetic intercessory spirit that is in your father is manifesting in you. I saw you and I saw Paula. Or Paula. Paula. We call her Paula. Paula. Something is happening to her. But it's going through you. You are the point of contact. I release the grace of God into your sister's life through you. It starts with you. Take it in Jesus' name. There goes. Lama Seketerebe Kotoboshia. Take it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mazekata reketa. Masherebe konto. Bring Paula. Paula stand up. Loso kotoboshia. Everybody lift your hand and pray in the Holy Ghost. Lift your hand. Paula, you are of God. Paula, you are of God. Paula, your time has come. The Lord has seen your commitment to Him. God has heard the cries of those who love you. And the Lord is saying, is giving you the desires of your heart. You are praying and trusting God that you will open finances. Because I'm seeing a very handsome young man, the one you love, Zivanai. And God is saying that it is not working, but uh, just wait. Just wait, just wait. I am praying for him. Today, everything is changing. Everything is changing. Bring it up. The power of God is coming your home. In the name of Jesus. Bishops, please help me. Put your hand in the womb. I am seeing something opening up in a womb. Touch her womb, somebody. My bishops, touch her womb. In the name of Jesus, receive the baby you're praying for. Take it! In the name of Jesus. Please confirm that uh, she was, uh, she's seeking God for a baby. Just to confirm. Confirm with her that she's seeking God for a baby because she's praying. I heard her pray for a child. I heard a prayer for a child. God, God is a good God. God is a good. Where is Lehato? Where is Lehato? Lehato, deliverance is coming. Where is Lehato? Makubela. Lokoshiye Maseya Makoto. You are blessed by God. You know, the Lord called me and said that. Uh, is touching Lehato, not in the auditorium, but in the overflow. God. Oh, wow. The Lord is doing awesome things. I'm seeing two children. They are blessed with you. The Lord is saying it's progress. Because I see one, then I see two. One is you. It's like a, you are the only one. The only one of your parent, your mother, your mother, your mother. You are the only child. But then you have two children. But relationship seems never to work with you. Anytime something gets well, something gets on track, Satan steps in and stops it. Is that correct? God is changing it. God is changing it. Now I'm glad that you're touching already your womb because that thing that you are feeling moving in your body is like a spirit. You feel it physically in your body. You devil, the blood of Jesus is against you. I command you to leave her. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Now, in the name of Jesus. 
Leave her now. Deliverance is taking place. Look at that. This is deliverance of God. The fire of God is going through her. That the fire of God free. In Jesus' name. La Sokoto Mamashia Baba. Rekete ke rebe shoyobo. La Soto. Freedom. Freedom. Wherever you are, you to receive your freedom. You to receive your freedom. Receive your freedom. Receive your freedom in the name of Jesus. Free. Free. In Jesus' name. Satan is so afraid of my daughter here. Satan is so afraid that the will of God will be fulfilled. That he has been trying all kinds of things to stop her from growing. Show me your hands if you can. Show me your hands, my daughter. Show me your hands. Let her to show me your hands. Oh, well, look at this. From Avon to Tapaways, trying your best to sell, to survive. The Lord, my God, is changing your story. You are born for greatness. The pressure even that you feel, especially when it comes to your finance, God is turning things around. You will testify financial miracles. You will testify complete deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can I have that connection back? In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lama Soto, everybody lift your hand. Those of you who are right there in Calvin View, stand up. Stand up, all of you. Lift your hands. Those in other places, lift your hand. Let her to receive the grace of God. Receive it is yours in the name of Jesus. Your hands are blessed. You prosper in the name of Jesus. God is doing it. To Him all the glory. To Him all the glory. Before we go, can I pray for Pastor Tandiswa? My daughter, I'm stepping into your battles. Pastor Tandiswa, I'm stepping in your battles and asking the glory of God to manifest in your life. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Pastor Tandiswa, please, please come, come, come. I'm stepping in. The devil is a liar. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mandisa, lift your hand. Mandisa. Mandisa, lift your hand while pastor is coming. Mandisa, lift your hand and receive from God. Receive from God. The Lord is blessing you. The Lord is fulfilling his will in your life. The goodness of God, the glory of God. Mandisa, it is your time. It is your time. I see God opening a door for you, my daughter. And I see him turning things around for you. In Jesus' name. Your skills have been undermined. But God is bringing you to a place of completeness. Jesus Christ. Is this... From, from Baraguana to working before, Standard Bank working before, Satan is really stopping you from going anywhere. But that says the Lord I serve. Today is completely setting you free and releasing you to the next level. Receive the grace of God. Receive the blessings of God. You are going to the next level. Okay, just for a minute, take the papers that she has there. Lay hands on it that I can see. Somebody film those hands. Lay hands on those papers that she had. Bishop J, can I see that? Lay hands on it. Lay hands on it. Miracle working God. Miracle working God. It is done. It is done. It is done. My precious stand this way. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. La seketa rebekoto. 
Maserebe Konto. My daughter, there is a guardian on your altar. There is an intercessor in your life. Your father is by your side. There is a prophet in your life. You are not just a mere person out there. They have been looking for you. They have been looking for you. They're trying all they can to pull you down. But hear me. Right now, as we are speaking about a destiny manipulator, praying for others, God said that I should pray for you. The pain that you have in your lower abdomen. The enemy has been trying to get you to a fatality, but God said no. You know why? Because you are faithful to God. Your faithfulness is noted by God. I am praying today, mark this day. There will be a turnaround today. I say today. There will be a turnaround. Your health is under siege, under attack, but God is changing it. Your finances, God is revisiting it. Today, my precious one, my precious daughter, if I be a man of God, there the glory. May there be complete change and complete turnaround. Healed completely. Restored in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May you move from strength to strength. In the name of Jesus. Bishop, touch her womb for me. There goes the glory of God. I, I, I need a touch. I need a physical point of contact. Lift her up and touch her home. Lama Soto. Cancer is not of God. And it will never be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Never be your portion. Jesus! Jesus! Jesus, that in God, lift your hand, everybody, wherever you are. Last second, be going to lift your hand and thank God, thank Him for His goodness, thank Him for His power. Marebe Kolobo Soto, Leshete Rebe Gondo, blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Now, in Calvin View, those of you inside or outside the auditorium, you feel that there is something that the enemy has done to move you from the path of God. I want you to move, go to the altar, go, go in front of the altar, go and stand. Bishop, pastors, go up on the stage. We're praying together. You're a point of contact today. You want to be prayed for, you feel that something is blocking you. Something is stopping you from moving. Something is stealing your destiny. You sense that you are not where you're supposed to be because of some malefic, diabolical, satanical powers of the enemy. La Soto Rebe Conto. Go to the stage, come quickly, lift your hand and trust God. Lezete Robo Conto. And my precious family, wherever you are, you are with me online. I want you to lift your hand. If you can, stretch it toward me. Deliverance is taking place in your life also. Around the world, wherever you are, deliverance is coming in the name of Jesus. Freedom is coming in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough is coming in the name of Jesus. May you receive your freedom. May every yoke of the enemy be destroyed. May every power of Satan be destroyed. Now in Jesus' name. Now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. In your home, receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 
every diabolical spirit released against you against your destiny be thou destroyed now in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name Lama Soko Toboboko pray for yourself pray for yourself pray release the glory of God may the Lord God restore you may the Lord God do for you what only he can do Zerebe Konto pray everybody pray speak to God pray speak to God flow in the presence of God we bless you Jesus we bless you Jesus Korobo Soyo Bobo Soto Masherebe Kanta Babobo Lasete Rebe Koto Bobo Soyo Jesus there goes the power God. Jesus, God of us, come and do a miracle, God. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. your hands we keep on praying for people in different places I'm here praying with you may the blessings of God be your portion may the power of God be yours in the name of Jesus may you be blessed today in Jesus name may the grace of God lead you right 
May the Lord our God set you on the right path, the path of your destiny. May you be part of the plan set by God, the perfect will of God. I release His blessings over you. It is well with you. May God keep on strengthening you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May God bless you. We keep on praying on site, but for all of you who are with me online, may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. I want you to have the break that uh, you so well deserve until the third service. I also want to thank you for being faithful to God in this fast to keep on serving God, praying and connecting to God, ministering to Him in your worship, in your praise. May God abundantly Bless you, bless you more and more. Remember, after the third service, you may break your fast. Meaning after three, you may, three CAT, Central African time, you may break your fast and have a decent meal in God. Until I see you tomorrow, may the Lord our God bless you. Please know, I love you dearly and I pray for you daily. God bless you. Whatever you if you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Alf Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on amitv.com. You can follow Pastor Alf Lukau on all social media platforms at Alf.